Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Rose SMP Season 5. And in this episode, it has now occurred to me that every time I log on, it is always raining. So, seeing not rain here is an absolute blessing. But, in this episode, we're just going to start off with a one hour mining session and killing this cow. Because I need more diamonds, desperately. So that's what we're going to be doing. Additionally, I want to spruce up my base, my beach, my bay, maybe even make another structure for it, because I, I also need to sort out my storage system. But, but Undated Tree has offered to help me with the mining session, so I have accepted. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a competition, a one hour mining competition. Whoever gets the most diamonds wins. There's not really any reward, apart from, because we're just... We'll just combine the diamonds that we got, keep anything else that we thought. If we keep anything else that we thought, fo found, I can't speak. Keep anything else that we found, but split the diamonds between us, and whoever wins gets a an extra diamond that was left over or whatever. So, without further ado, let's get on to the mining time lapse. <laughs> Hey, nice. So that's the one hour mining session finished. Thank you, Undated Tree, for helping me with that. That was a good mining session. You, of course, won. And that was an excellent mining session. This time with another person that I didn't expect to do that. And maybe next time I'll be doing it for Never Right. So if anyone wants to help me next time. Go ahead and ask. This was fun. And let's get back on to the video. Well, that was a rather mm. nice one hour mining session. And let me tell you, that was, that was, that felt good. I've, I haven't had that many diamonds in a while. Um, since season four, I've just been, uh, being poor, but I've also been doing a bit of village trading and farming. But maybe it's diamonds and... Do you know what I can do now is... Oh, I know what I can do now. You think you like diamonds? <laughs> you think you like diamonds? Pathetic. I love diamonds. Everything about me. I am diamonds. I am diamonds. I think... And you know what I think? As of now, I'm officially a professional diamond lover. I just love them. Neverite isn't even that good, because you can't make a throne out of Neverite, because it's that hard to get. I am the professional diamond lover. Not the diamond king. I'm not the diamond king, because people definitely have more diamonds than I do. But just wait, give it, give it a few more mining sessions, I'll find loads. 
I am the diamond lover. Well, after celebrating my newfound wealth and turning down the volume for once, I think it's time that we turn to more pressing matters at hand. And one of those is getting to kill this phantom that's following me around. And so while I do that, I should explain to you that the other, the, I should explain to you the other issue or matter that we have at hand, and that is uh, my, keeping my base in check. And by that, I mean uh, making it look pretty. Because how can I, how can I be, how can I have a nice series on this if, how can I have a nice series on this server if my base doesn't look good? So I think I should do a time lapse on just prettying up the, just prettying up the, bit, the place. I'll collect some resources and um, I should probably cut to the time lapse while I'm trying to shoot this phantom. a good time lapse and to be honest I think this place really looks n much nicer than before as you can see I've uh, taken down the, the load of bamboo that I put on the vase on the edges because I think I've got enough bamboo right now and I used some sugar cane to clean just decorate the place you can see I've got pebbles and these lanterns and it, it's, it's really looking to be I'm really getting a better feel of the island right now it's really coming together, and I'm really happy. But you may see that there's a big hole, and there's a bit of rock, a bit of a rock face down there. And that's where I plan for there to be a new storage room. Uh, just a small storage room for now. I might add some more later on, just around the island and all. But I've, I've just dug a hole. The, chests, the double chests will go about here. But this is just so I can uh, escape from this this pesky chest monster I'm just waiting for some stone to melt over there and I will huh a gift from Liam uh just for context uh someone on the server uh, Liam they gave me a monster spawner so uh, thank you very much to you um that was actually really helpful and they also gave me a ton of other stuff as well, for example, like, it's just, uh, spruce saplings, which is, which are rather important right now. Spruce is a bit rare at the moment. A uh, mangrove propagule is helpful as well, some bone blocks, you know, all that good stuff. And a cactus as well. So let's see what they've given me. Uh, bones. I mean, I will take these, but, um... Oh, but that's giving me a rather good idea. That's giving me an excellent idea. Thank you, Liam. I've just got an excellent idea. Thank you for that. Uh, the help is uh, much appreciated, uh, even though it's very uh, bony. So, just smelting up some resources, and I think I'll do another time lapse of me building the storage system. Um, that mob grinder is standing ominous in the background. Okay, enough fooling around. Let's go. It's what I would say if I was actually doing a time-lapse. Because, you see, on the day that this was being recorded, the end had also just opened. 
And I'm not going to about to take you through the end fight or whatever. There's a much better explanation about it on Fizz's channel, which I'll link in the description. But basically, yeah, we just went to the end, tried end busting, see if we could get any elytra. Oh wait, they've all been taken and some guy has seven elytra. So that's cool. I eventually ended up buying an elytra off of that guy that was MMI for <clears throat> 64 diamonds and a bit of work. But I have wings now. And what's cool is that it matches with my cape, so that's nice. I'll probably just mine those diamonds back off camera. Because next episode, I don't think I'm going to be mining diamonds. I'm going to be mining something more valuable. Anyway, go watch the end fight video by Fizz. I'll link his channel and the video in the description. If you could go check him out. I think I'm in it too. Look, there I am. So anyway, I had to do a bit of work. Just had to clear out a bit of an iceberg. So instead of doing a time lapse of me building and doing something that's actually worth my time, I think I'll just give you a time lapse of me breaking ice. Which, can I just say... That is the most satisfying thing in the world. Like, if you if you ever get the chance to break ice with haste 2 and a good pickaxe, oh, it is so satisfying. You should definitely try it out. Enough fooling around. Wait, let's cut to the time lapse. So, let's go! Well, this is a completely different environment, and I may be wondering, what am I doing here? And the answer to that is, uh... I'm just grinding for some XP, because my my stuff has been, uh, completely battered, if you should know. And, uh... So I need XP. And now that the end is open, there is a public XP farm, which is excellent. So I'm just grinding for some XP, so I can enchant everything I have. Uh, I'll probably get some fortune free, and unbreaking, and efficiency, and mending on my pickaxe, so I can actually have a trusty pickaxe that I use all the time. But now that the end is open, and we have a good, reliable XP farm, we can do lots of good things, or in terms of XP. And, well, life's going to be a lot easier for us right now. And, to be honest, that's basically it for the episode. So while I kill Enderman, I will leave you there. Because this episode is about over 10 minutes long. I want to try to make them shorter. So, with that, I hope you had a... With that, thank you so much for watching. I, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And, I'm, and I, I'm glad that you enjoyed it if you did. Thank you so much for watching to the end. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you on the flip side.